<laughs> Hello, everybody. Dingo2031 here, bringing you a YouTube video on how I do a water change on my frag tank. Now, this frag tank is approximately 12 gallons, um, and what I do is I do a 10% water change, and that is estimate a gallon. Actually, 1.2 gallons. So what I'm going to go ahead and do is actually show you what media I use to keep my water crystal clear and um, how I do it. So now what I do is I get a one gallon milk jug, one gallon PRS jug, and then basically, sorry, I'm trying to clean the glass here. What I do then is cut up poly filter, polyester, and then some mar marine land. It's like filter floss, but it's by marine land. It's called right size bonded filter pad, whatever it is. Now what I do it is as I come, put my hand over here. This. It's all yucky, hum. That's the first filter pad. Here's a can't think of name. And that's only one side. Now more and then on the other side I have one tiny filter what you could do change the carbon in GFO but I have a light bio load so I'm not going to so then what I'm going to do some of the dragon morphs. Let's actually go ahead and put the poly the filter pad in. It's rock hard. Put it lay it at the very bottom. Grab I all pre-cut this. I'm gonna need more for that chamber. And that's one side I get add more. Alright, so. Yeah, I'm actually going to do that right now, so. Looks like this. Get a pair of scissors. Alright, and then, what is that? Oh, it's floating sand. Sand like it's hot on the filter pad. So, we cut some more for the other side. It's to be this big. Tiny little square. I'll put it over in the last chamber. Okay, now, once we have that done, filter pads over here. Come over. Put the one gallon milk jug. That's all I do. Wait for it to fill up. It shouldn't take long, but anyway, here's your cool look at the condi. Bubble tips kind of closed. And these dragon eyes are morphs. And then the castle. 
Love it. One of my favorite lights. Going to definitely use it in the future. So. Not so far up. And then over here, if some of you guys might have saw, I have a bunch of rubble. Basically, when I get, I get, I've been using that for the safe place for pods and such to reproduce. Um, also, I'm going to have my pop culture and phytoplankton culture in those two mason jars next to Miracle Grow. I was going to use that as the food for the pods, but I mean, phytoplankton, but I changed my mind and I'm going in with a much safer option. Now, here's some cool rock. Not many people see their live rock out of the water. So. Slowly and steadily. I did add a bottle of Tiger Pods. They go quick with my scooter bunny. It's not even a scoot. Um. I don't want to get hate for this, but Scooter Blenny isn't really a Scooter Blenny. It's actually, it's not even a Blenny. It's actually a, um, a Dragnet. As you guys can see, the water level does get pretty low with one gallon. We can put this water there. Take this water and pour it out so I'm going to have cover my camera. So you guys don't see my room. Come over. Pour it right down the drain. Just get a little dust like that. Okay. Now. Then. What I do is come over. Move that. And then come down. Get one gallon of pre-mixed salt water. Pour it into the tank. Try not to disturb the sand bed. I'll show you guys how to mix salt water. Um, in a different video. Sorry if I'm mumbling such. Okay, now, what I'm gonna do is go down, plug in the water, the return on me. There's my dragon at. Very, very cool fish. And that's how you do a water change. That's how I keep my water crystal clear. So, again. So, rate, comment, subscribe, and thank you.